Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, it's time for below grade level. It's time for the fright of your life. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Below Grade Level, the show where we take the books we read as kids and read them as adults and ruin them. I'm one of your hosts, Jonathan Eaton. Uh, Becca and Chris are not with me because we are smack dab in the middle of listening to Let's Get Invisible, uh, our last uh, legacy episode to, to listen to shit that was recorded a long time ago, years ago. If you listen to the last episode, you'll kind of get the gist. So let's just jump right into it. Last time uh, in the book, we met Max, our main character, who is very vain, and he loves his hair, and he carries a comb with him. Um, Other characters, there's a lot of them in this book for some reason. He's got uh, a brother, Lefty, his dog, Whitey, very creative names, and then his uh, friends, Zach, Aaron, and April. And so basically, what has happened so far in this book is that uh, Max had a birthday party, um... Everybody went upstairs to the attic. They found a magic mirror that when you pull the light cord on, which I still don't understand why, like, a mirror with a light switch or a light cord. I don't know. Whatever. They found a magic mirror. You pull the light switch. You go invisible. That's the gist of the entire book. You, They just keep pulling the switch. They didn't believe him at first that he went invisible. Uh, and you got to pull the switch to come back. And... Um, yeah, that's basically it so far. Max goes invisible. His friends want to go invisible. They all start going invisible. Uh, and then uh, Max starts to realize that the longer you stay invisible, the harder it is to, like, come back. So that's where you start getting into, like, the creepy, you know, kind of kid Twilight Zone bullshit. Um, so without further ado, let's get back into uh, listening to an old recording of us reading this book. Enjoy. Maybe Lefty went invisible too, Zack suggested. Then why doesn't he answer us? I cried, trying to call... I tried calling my brother again. Lefty, are you here? Can you hear me? No reply. I walked up to the mirror and angrily slapped the frame. There's a chipmunk on the beach. I'm sorry. There's a chipmunk on the beach? How can you even see that? Because I have eyes like a hawk. Jesus Christ. I saw it earlier. Yeah, he's so cute. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I didn't want to say anything to interrupt. I angrily slapped the mirror. Stupid mirror. Lefty, lefty. Zach had his hands cupped around his mouth like a megaphone. He stood at the door to the little room calling out into the attic. I don't believe this, I said weakly. My legs were shaking so much I dropped down onto the floor. And then I heard giggling. Huh? Lefty? I jumped to my feet. More giggling coming from behind the carton. The carton! Uh, coming from behind the carton. Drink every time they say carton. Yeah, every time they say carton. Coming from behind the carton, I'd carried into the little room. I lunged forward toward the carton just as Lefty popped up from behind it. Gotcha! He cried and collapsed over the carton, slapping the floor, laughing his head off. Counterclockwise. <coughs> oh, counterclockwise. So I'm right. changing it up. Gotcha! Gotcha both! You little creep, Zack screamed. He and I both pounced on Lefty at the same time. I pulled his arm back until he screamed. Zack messed up his hair and then tickled him. Lefty was screaming and laughing and squirming and crying all at the same time. (laughs) I gave him a hard punch on the shoulder. (laughs) That's what all that sounds like. like (laughs) Don't ever do that again, I shouted angrily. Lefty laughed, so I gave him a hard shove and climbed to my feet. So. Max is just punching everyone. Mm-hmm. Zach and I, both breathing hard, both red in the face, glared angrily at Lefty. I'm pretty sure Zach wasn't that mad. He was just like tickling. Yeah, Zach was just like, who gives a shit? He was rolling around on the floor, covered in dust, still laughing like a lunatic. You scared us to death. You really did, I exclaimed heatedly. I know, Lefty replied happily. Let's beat him up some more, Zach suggested, balling his hands into tight fists. Get a pillowcase and some soap. <laughs> Okay, I agreed. You'll have to catch me first, Lefty cried. He was on his feet in a flash and out the door. I chased after him, tripped over a stack of old clothes, and went flying headfirst to the floor. 
Ow! I banged my leg hard. The pain shot up through my body. Shouldn't you bang your head hard? Yeah, right. Alright. All right. <clears throat> Pulling myself up slowly, I started after Lefty again. But voices on the attic stairway made me stop. Aaron's head popped up first. Then April appeared. April. Lefty was sitting on the windowsill at the far end of the attic, red-faced and sweaty, catching his breath. Hey, how's it going? I called to the two girls, brushing dust off my jeans, then straightening my hair with one hand in an ever-so-smooth motion. Your mom said you were here, Aaron explained, looking from Lefty to me. What are you guys doing up here, April asked. Wait, which one's the mouse? Oh, Aaron's the mouse. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to redo that one. Okay. <clears throat> Your mom said you were here, Aaron explained, looking from Lefty to me. <laughs> it's hard to remember. It's been two years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing up here, April asked. Oh, uh, just hanging out, I said, casting an angry glance at my brother who stuck his tongue out in reply. April picked up an old Life magazine from a stack of yellowed magazines and began <laughs> flipping through it, but the pages crumbled as she looked at them. What? Yuck. How old she was that? 500 been? years old? <laughs> Yuck, she said, putting it she down. The, the stuff is her. so old. <laughs> That's what addicts are for, I said, starting to feel a little more n- normal. <laughs> Who ever heard of keeping new stuff in an attic? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you just Jersey Mike. Ha ha, <laughs> Lefty laughed sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that mirror? Aaron asked, stepping into the center of the room. The one that made that weird optical illusion last Saturday. <laughs> Optical illusion. When you hear those bats, it's so spooky. Is that like cave sounds? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't an optical illusion! I blurted out. I didn't really feel like messing with the mirror anymore. I'd had enough scares for one afternoon, but the words just tumbled out of me. Like vomit. I can never keep a secret. <laughs> it's a real character flaw. <laughs> That's in the book. What do you mean? Aaron asked. Very interested, she walked past me, heading to the open doorway of the little room. You mean that wasn't an optical illusion last week? April asked, following her. No, not really, I said, glancing at Lefty, who hadn't budged from the windowsill across the large room. The mirror has strange powers or something. It can really turn you invisible. April laughed scornfully. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, right, she said. And I'm going to fly to Mars in a flying saucer tonight after dinner. Give me a brick, I muttered, turning my eyes to Aaron, romantically. Oh, wait, no, he likes April, sorry. I'm serious. He's Aaron- 12, he likes everybody. That's true. <laughs> Aaron stared back at me, her face her face filled with doubt. You're trying to tell us that you've gone in that room and become invisible? I'm not trying to tell you. You sound like Audrey. I- <laughs> What's- doctor, doc, doctor, <laughs> yes, doctor. Okay, so she's Audrey now. (laughs) I'm not trying to tell you, I repeated heatedly. I am telling you. April laughed again like a bitch. Aaron continued to stare at me, studying my face. You are serious, she decided. It's a trick mirror, April told her. That's all. That light on top of it is so bright, it makes your eyes go weird. Show us, Aaron said to me. Yeah, show them, Lefty exclaimed eagerly. He jumped up from the windowsill and started running to the little room. I'll go this time. Let me do it. No way, I said. Let me try, Aaron volunteered. <laughs> that was my attempt. I know, I liked it. It was good. Hey, do you know who else is here? I asked the girls following them to the room. Zach is here. <laughs> Fucking throw <laughs> your friend under the bus. What? What? I called to him. Hey, Zach. Aaron wants to go invisible. Think we should let her? Oh, no. Should I we? stepped she into the room. Zach. Where is he hiding? Aaron asked. I uttered a silent gasp. The mirror light was on. Zach was gone. <laughs> Chapter 10. Oh, no, I cried. <laughs> I don't believe this. Lefty laughed. Zach's invisible, he told Aaron and April. (laughs) What is this? Zach, where are you? I demanded angrily. Suddenly, the softball floated up from Lefty's hand. (gasps) Hey, give that back! Lefty shouted and grabbed for it. (laughs) But invisible Zach pulled the ball out of Lefty's reach. Invisible Zach. 
Aaron and April were both gaping at the ball as it floated in midair. Gaping at the ball is a sentence that should not be in a children's no. book. Their a eyes Aaron bulging. and April were both gaping <laughs> Their at the mouths ball. wide open. Oh, God! <laughs> Hi, girls. Zach called in a booming, deep voice that floated from in front of the mirror. April screamed and grabbed Aaron's arm. Zach, stop kidding around. How long have you been invisible? I asked. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. The ball flew back to Lefty, who dropped it and had to chase it out into the attic. How long, Zach? I repeated. <laughs> About five minutes, maybe. How long? <laughs> um, <clears throat> are we doing a voice for Zach? I can't remember. I don't think so, right? I don't know. It yeah. was just kind of like... Smarmy. Like cocky, smarmy. When you chased after Lefty, I turned on the light and went invisible. Then I heard you talk talking to Aaron in April. <laughs> I'm doing like Perfect. SNL Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> You've been invisible the whole time? I asked feeling really nervous and upset. Yeah, this is awesome, he exclaimed, but then his tone grew doubtful. I'm starting to feel kind of funny, though, Max. Funny? Aaron asked, staring at where Zack's voice seemed to be coming from. What do you mean, funny? Like, ha-ha? Or weird? Or hee-hee. Or, like, ha-ha? Or hee-hee? Kind of dizzy, Zack replied weakly. Everything's kind of breaking up, you know, like a bad TV picture. I mean, you're starting to fade, to seem far away. But in all fairness, you always seem far away since you're a tiny little mouse person. <laughs> I'm bringing you back, I said. And without waiting for Zack to reply, I reached up and pulled the light chain. The light clicked off. Darkness seemed to roll. Cancel! <laughs> Sorry, some, sometimes, uh, Schmalexa. Cancel! <laughs> that didn't work! Sometimes the Amazon Echo Lady. Oh my god. Alexa, cancel. Oof. Is there someone with that bitch's name in the book? This, no, I just, I, oh. I literally said nothing and she was like, plunk! So this is gonna be a fun thing when we record podcasts. <laughs> I'm bringing you back, I said, and went, oh, I'm from a plan. I reached up, I pulled the chain. Okay, light clicked off, darkness seemed to roll into the room, filling the mirror with gray shadows. Where is he? April cried. It didn't work. He isn't back. It takes a while, I exclaimed. How long? April asked. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mirror scientist. Why aren't I back? Zach, uh, Zach asked. I'm doing like a smarmy. Yeah. Okay. He was standing right beside me. I could feel his hot breath on my neck. I can't see myself. He sounded very frightened and rich. <laughs> for some reason. He didn't turn the page for me. Oh, sorry. Dick. <laughs> Don't get tense, I said, forcing myself to sound calm. You know it takes a while, especially since you stayed invisible so long. But how long, Zach wailed. Shouldn't I be back by now? You were back by now. I remember. Just stay cool, I told him, even though my stomach was churning and my throat was dry. This is too scary. Oh. I hate this, April moaned. Be patient, I repeated softly. Everybody, just be patient. <laughs> we all stared from the spot where we thought Zach was standing to the mirror, then back again. Zach, how do you feel? Erin asked, her voice trembling. Weird, Zach replied. Like I'm never coming back. Oh, no. That's... A weird feeling. Don't say that, I snapped. But that's how I feel, Zach said sadly. Like I'm never coming back. Zach said resignedly. Just chill, I said. Everybody, just chill. Whoa. We stood in silence, watching, waiting, waiting. I was never so frightened in all my life! Uh! <laughs> <clears throat> Chapter 11, Bankruptcy. <laughs> I think, how many times have I made, that, that, I made that you joke? You did the exact same joke, because we read this far last time. I just, I'm going to cut it out and replace it. And you did the same fucking thing. <laughs> in chapter 11, bankruptcy. And I probably went... <laughs> are you leaving that part in, or are you cutting that? Like, I'll leave it out. I'm not going to cut any right. of this. All right, I chapter 11, bankruptcy. I don't, <laughs> I don't edit things. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. <laughs> do something. Zach, still invisible, pleaded. Max, you've got to do something. <laughs> I, uh, I'd better get mom, Lefty stammered. 
<laughs> he dropped the softball to the floor and started to the door. <laughs> Mom? What could Mom do? I cried in a panic. But I'd better get somebody, Lefty declared. At that moment, Zack <laughs> shivered back into view. Wow. Shimmered? He uttered what, a long, a breathless vampire? sigh of relief and slumped to his knees on the floor. Yay! Aaron cried happily, clapping her hands as we all gathered around Zack. How do you feel, I asked, grabbing his shoulders, looking longingly into his eyes. I think I wanted to know for sure that he was really back. Excuse me? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm back, Zack proclaimed, smiling. That's all I care about. That was really scary, April said <laughs> quietly, hands shoved into the pockets of her white tennis shorts. I mean, really. I wasn't scared, Zack said, suddenly changing his tune. <laughs> I knew there was no problem. Do you believe this guy? That is not a line of dialogue. That's just Max's, you know, inner monologue. Do you believe this guy? Believe it's in italics. Do you believe this guy? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> One second he's whining and wailing, wailing, begging me to do something. The next second he's pretending he had the time of his life. Mr. Confident. We're definitely There's doing the, girls in the room. We're doing the right voice for Zach, 100%. Yeah. What did it feel like? Aaron asked, resting one hand on the wooden mirror frame. <laughs> awesome, Zack replied. He climbed unsteadily to his feet. Oh, God. Really, it was totally awesome. I want to get invisible again before school on Monday so I can go spy in the girls' locker room and get a restraining order slapped on me. And then I'll have Daddy bail me out. Yeah, he did actually say they wants to go spy in the girls' locker room. Daddy's a judge. <laughs> Daddy's a judge and he spies on all of the women that he works with. Zach, you're a pig. Aaron declared disgustedly. What's the point of being invisible if you can't spy on girls? Zack asked, masturbating into a plant. <laughs> Are... An attic plant. <laughs> <laughs> An attic plant. <laughs> a plastic plant. Are you sure you're okay? I asked, genuinely concerned. You look kind of shaky to me. Well, I started to feel a little strange at the end, Zack confessed, scratching the back of his head. How do you mean? I asked. Well, like I was being pulled away, away from the room, away from you guys. Pulled where? I demanded. He shrugged. I don't know. <laughs> I only know one thing. He's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> a smile, <laughs> a smile began to form on his face, and his blue eyes seemed to light up. Uh oh, I thought. You just got Is it something zacked. Something gross. You just got zacked. You just, all of you got zacked hard. I only know one thing, Zach repeated for some fucking reason. In case you what? didn't remember from I the asked previous page. Again. <laughs> I'm the new invisible champ. I stayed invisible longer than you, at least five minutes longer than anybody. But I haven't had a turn, Aaron protested. I don't want a turn, April declared. Chicken, Zach teased her. I think you're stupid for messing around with this, April yeah! said heatedly. Yeah! This isn't a toy, you know. You don't know anything about it. You don't know what it really does to your body. Neither do you, Zach. But April said I mean, that. Sorry. April said that. Oh. I feel fine, Zach told her, and pounded his chest with both hands like a gorilla to prove it. Oh. He glanced at the dark mirror. I'm ready to go back even longer. I want to get invisible and go outside and play tricks on people, Lefty said enthusiastically. Really rude. What, me? Is this me? <laughs> yeah, you. Rude? Did you do this? No, I grabbed it out of the thing. Oh, that would be smarter. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan just got ice for his drink. One second. Because we all have a problem. <laughs> this is my second drink of the day. Well, it's not a good problem. For you. Thank you. Okay, I'm very, very sorry. Are you done? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> Gorilla, okay, I'm ready to go back even longer. I want to go play tricks on people left side enthusiastically. Can I go next, Max? I don't think so. <clears throat> Sorry. I was thinking about what April had said. We really were messing around with something that could be dangerous, something we didn't know anything about. 
Max has to go again, Zack said, slapping me hard on the back, nearly sending me sprawling against the mirror. You beat my record, he grinned at me, unless you're chicken too. I'm not, I'm not chicken, I insisted. I just think... Hyphen. <clears throat> you're chicken, Zack accused, laughing scornfully. Oh, ha, ha, ha. He started <laughs> he started clucking loudly, flapping his arm, arms like a chicken. I'm not chicken, let me go. Lefty pleaded. I could break Zack's record. It's my turn, Aaron insisted. You guys oh. have all had turns. See you thought she was I a mouse, but she's got yet. more balls than April. That's true, she does. <laughs> Okay, I said with a shrug, immediately giving up. <laughs> you go first, Aaron, then me. Like, I, was, I don't care if the girl <clears throat> dies. Yeah. I was glad Aaron was so eager to do it. I really didn't feel like getting invisible again just yet. I've only gotten invisible nine times already. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I felt very fluttery and nervous, which is how any 12-year-old would describe themselves. Definitely. <laughs> me next, Lefty insisted. Me next, me next. He started chanting the words over and over. I clamped my hand over his mouth. Maybe we should all go downstairs, I suggested. He's going to bite you. Or lick your palm. Chicken? Zach teased. You're chickening out? Chot, 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 (laughs) chot, (laughs) chot. I don't know, Zach, I replied, honestly. I think I saw Aaron staring at me. Was that disappointment on her face? Did Aaron think I was a chicken, too? (gasps) Okay, I said, immediately giving up again. (laughs) Go ahead, Aaron. You go. Then I'll go. Then Lefty. We'll all beat Zach's record. <clears throat> Aaron and Lefty clapped. April. It is very hard to feel sorry for any of them if something yeah. bad happens. Yeah. Because they're just like, they're all... let me fucking be invisible. <laughs> they're all voluntarily they like, stop. I want to do this thing that I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I want to cheat I... death. What could go wrong with I play with this gun? Hey, I was 12 once. <laughs> you guys act like you've never found a I magic wasn't. mirror in your attic. <laughs> Aaron and Lefty clapped. April groaned and rolled her eyes. Zach grinned in his Zach way. It's no big deal, I told myself. I've done it three times already. It's perfectly painless. And if you just stay cool and wait patiently, you come right back the way you were. He's talking about jerking off. <laughs> Where, where'd you leave? <laughs> <laughs> what? Does anyone have a watch? Aaron asked. We need to keep time so I know what time I have to beat. I could see that Aaron was really into this competition. Uh, Aaron's my hero. Lefty seemed really excited too, and of course Zach would compete in anything because he is unfucking bearable. <laughs> Only April wasn't happy about the whole thing because she wasn't happy about everything in her life. She walked silently back to the room and sat down on the floor with her back against the walls, her arms folded over her knees. Hey, you're the only one with a watch. She could just fucking go home. Yeah. Aaron it's called a real to April. Stick in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> so you be the timer, okay? April nodded without enthusiasm. She raised her wrist and stared down at her watch. Okay, get ready, she said. Aaron took a deep breath and stepped up to the mirror. She closed her eyes, reached up, and tugged the light chain. (laughs) The light came on with a bright flash. Aaron disappeared. Just like it happened to the rest of us every fucking time we've done this. Oh, wow! She cried. This is way cool! How does it feel? April called from behind us, her eyes glancing from the mirror to her watch. I don't feel any different at all, Aaron said. What a... What a great way to lose weight. <laughs> oh, man, R.L. Stein. Uh, you are keyed into a young woman's thoughts. Ladies, oh am God. I right? It's better than throwing I'm up. I'm so skinny. I'm fucking invisible. <laughs> 15 seconds, April announced. I'm so fat. I'm so visible. <laughs> 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 oh, I can see you. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you're, visible. <laughs> you're visible to my eyes. Barf. <laughs> Lefty's hair suddenly stood straight up in his... It, what? Lefty's hair suddenly... Oh. Lefty's hair suddenly stood straight up in the air. How we? What is Lefty's... How are you doing his voice? What is it? Like, wise, like a wise yeah. guy? Like, nah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cut it out, Aaron. His name's Lefty. He shouted, <laughs> yeah. twisting away from her invisible hands. I want to get invisible. Do some schemes. <laughs> Do schemes. some schemes. Pull some capers. We heard Aaron laugh from somewhere near Lefty. <laughs> then we heard her footsteps so as she walked out of the room and into the attic. I thought they were in the attic. I'm confused. Little and mouse footsteps. Okay, the so there's the. Well, no, they are in the attic because it's like the. They're the just in a mir- specific room. The in mirror's the attic? in the little room that you're talking about. But oh. the fucking little room is in the attic. All right. We know. saw an old coat rise up into the air and dance around <laughs> after it dropped back into its carton. Everyone drink. <laughs> Everyone drink. We saw an old magazine fly up and its pages appear to flip rapidly. Oh my gosh, what a scamp. <laughs> what? This is so much fun, I Aaron who's called doing us. It. The magazine dropped back onto the stack. I can't wait to go outside like this and really scare people. One minute, April called. She hadn't moved from her sitting position against here's the wall. The, here's the thing that I kind of like about this. Like, it's a little realistic because, like, human nature, the first thing anyone thinks about when they turn invisible is, like, evil. How can I fuck with people? Yeah, it's like, Ooh, Or see people naked. Spy on girls. I'm going <laughs> to scare people. Like, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the next one's going to be like, I can't wait to go fucking kill someone. Or steal of, something. Or steal something, yeah. It just reminds me of what we do in the shadows. It's like, oh, a floating cup. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron moved around the attic for a while, making things fly and float, and we were all really fucking entertained. Then she returned to the little room to admire herself the in the room. mirror. I'm really invisible, we heard her exclaim excitedly. Just like in a movie or something. Now I don't hate myself. Yeah, great special effects, I said. Three minutes, April announced. Aaron continued to enjoy herself until about four minutes had passed. Yes, yeah, she Then did. her voice suddenly <laughs> changed. She started to sound doubtful and frightened. I don't like this, she said. I feel kind of strange. April jumped to her feet and ran up to me. Bring her back, she demanded. Hurry. I hesitated because I'm a fucking monster. Yes, bring me back, Aaron said weakly. <clears throat> like a mouse. See, yeah, if I was invisible right now, like if I went invisible right now, I would just probably pick up the slime and just be like, Ooh. You'd be like ah! <laughs> and then you'd be like, oh my God, I'm dying. Help me. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, where is the lime coming from? So- someone help me. <laughs> yeah. Someone help me. <laughs> I, I would immediately take off all of my clothes. <laughs> Why? And then just spin in place. Spin? And then once people brought me back, they would just be me naked spinning. And you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'd be like, ha, huh, gotcha. And that would be my joke. <laughs> also, I love that, like, reading the dialogue for this, like, you could easily picture the horrible child acting in the TV show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The but, horrible Canadian actor. <laughs> Damn Canadian. <laughs> but you haven't beaten my record, Zach declared. Are you sure? Yes, please. I don't feel right. Aaron suddenly sounded far away. I stepped up to the mirror and pulled the chain. The light clicked off. We waited for Aaron to return. How do you feel? I asked. Just weird, she replied. She was standing right next to me, but I still couldn't see her, as if this was the whole point of the book. Oh, it's almost like that's happened before, you fucking <laughs> you idiot. You fuck. <laughs> you fuck. Like, what, four minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. Three minutes ago? It took nearly three minutes for Aaron to reappear. Mm. Three very tense minutes. Ooh. Let us wait in silence for three minutes for her to Three reappear. straight minutes. All right. <laughs> no, Stop the clock joking. now. <laughs> what? Three minutes. We could last five fucking seconds for room tone. <laughs> <laughs> when she would be like... <laughs> When she shimmered back into view like she was getting beamed down from Star Trek, she shook herself like a dog shaking water off after a bath. <laughs> then she grinned at us think? reassuringly. Oh, the guy was like, he shook me like a dog. He shook me like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. It was really terrific, except for the last few seconds. That were horrifying. You didn't beat my record, Zach reported happily. You came so close, but you folded. Just like a girl. Oh, I did you not ad lib that. Him in the dick? I did not ad lib that. That's oh, in there. God. Hey, Aaron gave Zach a hard shove. Stop being such a jerk. But you only had 15 seconds to go and you wimped out, Zach told her. Also, no one was keeping time while he was. April was. While he was invisible. While Zach was oh, invisible. Oh, no, no. Not yeah. really. That's he true, just no. estimated. He was really kind of like, I was invisible was like, for 10 yeah. hours. <laughs> My father was invisible for 8. <laughs> Hours. My father was invisible for most of my He's childhood. He's a judge. <clears throat> I don't it. care. Aaron he was with insisted. his other family. He was absent, yeah. <laughs> Frowning angrily at him. 
It was really neat. I'll beat your record next time, Zach. <laughs> I'm going to be the winner, Lefty announced. I'm going to stay invisible for a whole day. Maybe two. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> I cried. I'm thinking Lefty's a new character in Pop <laughs> Oh, yeah. Lefty just... <laughs> What are you guys doing here? Play? I feel like he lives in the alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Like a little street urchin. Yeah. yeah. And he has to look like a doozy. Yeah. Anybody want to buy some grapes? He's got like a little knife. <laughs> little knife? I used it to cut apples. Oh. I was thinking and, Well, up. and yeah. Um, <clears throat> that might be dangerous, Lefty. It's Max's turn next, Zach announced. <laughs> Unless you want to forfeit. <laughs> My attic's got five rooms. <laughs> <laughs> this room is so tiny. I have ten magic mirrors. <laughs> no way, I said, glancing at Aaron. Reluctantly, I stepped up to the mirror and took a deep breath. Wait, what? I did it wrong. I took a deep breath. Was it worth it? <laughs> it was such a long pause before you did it, I'm not sure. <laughs> he said once per episode. Shit. That was twice. That was twice? You broke your own fucking rules. All right. All right. Um, Although you <clears> didn't <throat> put that on paper. I don't know. So here's the thing. I was like, oh, with the slide whistle, I had to like pull it, push it out and then pull it in to do the mm. deep breath. Like, Ooh. But I got in my own head, and when I was doing it, I was inhaling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I was I mean, like, that's why it was like. It still made a noise. <laughs> no, yeah, but it was dumb. Anyway. What Let's the fuck talk is, about it some more. What is it's happening? Okay. No way. I said, okay. It's very I said, advanced uh, technology. Like, okay. I didn't really want to do it. <coughs> I admitted to myself silently. The slide whistle? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but I didn't want to look like a chicken in front of the others. I didn't want them going a coodle doodle doo to me. <laughs> For one thing, if I did whimp out, I knew that Lefty would only remind me of it 20 or 30 times a day for the rest of my fucking life. Hey, remember that time you chickened out? <laughs> Shut up, you bastard! <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and do it. Mom or dad didn't want you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said mom or dad. Mom or dad didn't want you. I can't remember which one. <laughs> one of them was very... One of them, one of them said it. I can't remember. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and do it. One thing, I said to Zach. When I call out ready, that means I want to come back. So when I say ready, you pull the light chain as fast as you can, okay? When I say ready, that's so when you pull the chain. Here's what, what I do. What did you say when you want to come back? I want to, want to come back, I'm going to say ready. So why don't you pull your own fucking chain? Because if you can move around old coats and magazines, pull the fucking chain yourself. Oh, because when they start feeling weak, they're like, it's, it's, this happened before. When he started feeling, he was like, he couldn't quite reach it. He was like, oh, oh. he was like, he's, he's like being pulled Get out away. Of the fucking attic, you idiot! Stop turning invisible! It's gonna kill you. <laughs> anyway. It better. On the back of the book, it says, disappearing. Disappearances can be deadly. I hope Max fucking One dies. of these kids Just better die. Like, did they did they ever uh, clarify if the mirror is actually like plugged in? They did. Right? They is did it battery not. operated? That's well, uh, uh, probably magic it's, it's, operated. It's probably like soul operated. Like there's souls in it. Yeah. Are they losing a little bit I of their soul every time? Oh shit! <gasps> okay, I have a prediction. Yes. I have not read. Chris it has a prediction. It's been two years since we read this. Yeah. And I haven't thought about it since. Uh huh. I thought Excuse about me. it every day. So. I think uh, one of them's gonna stay invisible too long, and then it'll be like they never existed. Oh, and the other ones are gonna like forget about them. Yeah, <gasps> that's my theory. Oh, I can mm. taste your burp. I'm sorry. It's awful. I that's had chicken it. salad earlier. Okay. No, I mean it tastes like Miller Lite. Um, yeah. Okay. Ew. When I say ready, <laughs> you pull the chain. Gotcha, Zach replied, his expression turning serious. Don't worry, I'll bring you back instantly. He snapped his fingers. Like that. Remember Max. Like Thanos! Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Remember Max, you've got to beat five minutes. Oh, Max is going invisible? Yeah, Max is going, yeah. I thought you were doing lefty voice. Lefty. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Just here stop, goes! Stop. I said, staring at my reflection in the mirror. I suddenly, not before this, but suddenly. 
I suddenly had a bad feeling about this. What? He's been like fucking Hesitant. like Debbie like, Downer about this about fucking the mirror whole the whole time. Yeah. And then caving immediately. A yeah. real okay. bad feeling. But I reached up and I pulled on the light anyway. Don't give in to peer pressure, kids. Too, now, too now it's taken us over two years to read this. What <laughs> I want to know is how much time has actually passed in the book? Not like <laughs> none. It's the same day. It's like, days. yeah. They went up into the attic and they have not come back down. Like, it's still like his birthday party, I think. Yeah. Chapter 12. When the glaring light dimmed, I stared hard into the mirror. The reflections were bright and clear. Against the back wall, I could see April slumped on the floor, staring intently at her watch. Lefty stood near the wall to the right, gaping up the spot where I had stood, a silly grin on his face. Zack stood next to him, his arms crossed over his chest, also staring into the mirror. Aaron leaned against the wall to the left. Her eyes were on the light above the mirror frame. And where was I? Standing right in front of the mirror, right in the center of it, staring at their reflections. Staring at the spot where my reflection should be, only it wasn't. I felt perfectly normal. Experimenting, I kicked the floor. My invisible sneakers made the usual scraping sound. Isn't this like the fifth time Max has gone invisible? Why yeah. is this a, a, like news to him? I grabbed my left arm with my right hand and, he's and it. squeezed it. It felt perfectly normal. Well, like, this is the middle of the fucking book, and he's still describing in this detail going invisible. <laughs> Something new needs to happen. He better not fucking come back this time. Hi, everyone. I said I sounded the same as ever. Yep. Only I was invisible. Just like the last 20 times. I glanced up at the light, casting a yellow rectangle down onto the mirror. <clears throat> what was the light's power? I wondered. Hey! The question we just asked. <laughs> Wait, the light or the mirror? What fucking does it? What was the light's power? I wondered. Did it do something to your molecules? Make them break Molecules. apart somehow so you couldn't be seen? <clears throat> um, everyone knows invisibility would be about bending light. Jeez. Amateur hour, R.L. Stein. <clears throat> no, that wasn't a good theory. If your molecules <laughs> broke up, you'd have to feel it, and you wouldn't be able to kick the floor or yeah. squeeze your arm Exactly or talk. what every 12-year-old thinks about. If your molecules <clears throat> broke up, you'd have to feel it. <laughs> hey, we got a regular little uh, amateur hawking over here. <laughs> So what did the light do? Did it cover you up somehow? Did what? the light form some kind of blanket? A covering that yeah. hid you from yourself light and everyone blanket. else? A light blanket. Yeah, obviously. What a, light a mystery. <laughs> That's what it says. Oh what my a God. mystery. With an exclamation point. It has its own line in the entire what book. What if a scientist showed up and they're like, ooh, it's a light blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a light blanket. It's probably a light blanket. <laughs> Zarkov's uh, theory of light blankets. <laughs> I had the feeling I'd never be able to figure it out. Never know the answer. I turned my eyes away from the light. It was starting with it for the rest of my my life. I closed my eyes, but the bright glare stayed with me. Two white circles that refused to dim. Thing is, yeah, if your eyelids are invisible, his eyelids are invisible. Yeah, you can't close your eyes. You see everything, no matter what. How do you feel, Max? Aaron's voice broke into my thoughts. Okay, I guess I said. My voice sounded weird to me, kind of far away. But are you invisible to yourself? Yes. So, like, in Hollow Man. <laughs> Great movie. Kevin Bacon goes invisible. Uh-huh. Goes invisible. He, Kevin Bacon gets invisible. Uh-huh. And uh, at one point, they, like, use uh, latex to make, like, a face mask for him. Because he's, he like, a... He can't see his own face. Well... Or, like... He can't... Yeah, he, he can't, can't, he can't see anything because he's okay. invisible. But, like, he, it, he makes it a point... Uh, it's actually not a bad movie. He makes it a point, like... At one point, they turn the lights on, and it's like it's too bright for him because he literally like there's nothing shading his eyes from the light. Brow, like Like, yeah, nothing. Brow actually does quite a bit. So they like they make a fake like a latex mask for him, and then he wears like sunglasses. I want to know what life would be like without eyebrows. Like, what would life be like if you were fucking invisible? It would suck. Horrible. It would suck. How would your hair would still grow? (laughs) But yeah, also like Kevin Bacon in that movie does the same thing these kids are inevitably going to do, which is like, he's like, what can I do when I'm invisible? And he goes and like rapes a woman. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. I know. He goes you think those, wait, inevitably you think those kids are going to go rape women? Eventually, yeah. It's R.L. Stein, the I master think, of fear. Here's the thing. Zach, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Zach definitely. Zach's definitely. dad's a judge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a judge. This and got dark. Who's going to convict an invisible kid? Whose dad is a judge. You can't convict if you can't see. That didn't rhyme, shit. 
If you... Nice try. <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. You can't seize we'll if you can't seize. Oh, oh shit. That's pretty good. But that Lefty probably would have said that. <laughs> he can't incarcerate if he can't... Nope, I got nothing. <laughs> Invisorate. 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 <laughs> I gotta get back to being invisoratable. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, what where am I? I'm at the top of this page. Yep. <clears throat> Four minutes thirty seconds, April answered. The time uh the time went so fast, I said. <clears throat> at least I thought I said it. <laughs> I realized I couldn't tell if I was saying the words or just thinking them. Jesus. My words had gone invisible. <laughs> the bright yellow light glowed even brighter. I had the sudden feeling that it was pouring over me, surrounding me, like a light blanket, pulling me. I, I feel weird, I said. No response. <gasps> Could they hear me? The light folded over me, like a blanket. It sounds like he's just really high and freaking out. I felt... <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that out loud? It's just a ghastly Yeah, wait, 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 hang on. <laughs> what if there's no mirror and they're just all, like, taking shrooms? Yeah. And they're, they're like, dude, I'm the invisible. I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> they're all just freebasing. I can't see my own arm. <clears throat> the light folded over me. I felt myself begin to float. It was a frightening feeling, as if I were losing control of my body. Ready! I screamed. Zach, ready! Can you hear me, Zach? I bet Zach's gonna ignore him. It seemed to take Zach hours to reply. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him say. His voice sounded so tiny and so far away. Miles and miles away! Ready! I cried. Ready! Okay! Oh, sorry. Okay. Again, I heard Zach's voice. But the light was so bright, so blindingly bright. Waves of yellow light rolled over me. Ocean waves of light splashing. An undertow of light sweeping me away what? with it. Really? No. Okay. The ocean part That's was... just it. You can never tell. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's so many times in these old like, episodes where I listen legit. where one of us goes like, what? Does that really say that? Or like, that? No. <laughs> Pull the chain, Zach, I screamed. At least I think I screamed. The light was tugging me so hard, <laughs> dragging me far, far away. <laughs> right when I drank. <laughs> right when I had a mouthful of liquid and I wanted to be like... <laughs> I knew I would float away. Float forever. We all float down here. Unless Zach pulled the chain and brought oh, me back. Pull it, pull it. Please pull it. That's what I, that, okay. that, is, that is what I said. I saw Zach step up to the mirror. He was blurred in shadows. He stepped through dark shadows on the other side of the light. The so far definitely. away. I felt so feather light. I could see Zach in the shadows. He jumped up. Why? He grabbed the light, the lamp chain. He pulled down hard. The light didn't click off. It glowed even brighter. Oh, no. And then I saw Zach's face fill with horror. He held up his hand. He was trying to show me something. He had the chain in his hand. Max, the chain, he stammered. It broke off. I can't turn off the light. Oh, no. Shit. Chapter 13. <laughs> Beyond the shimmering wall of yellow light, Zack's outstretched hand came clearly into my view. The dark chain dangled from his hand like a dead snake. <laughs> <laughs> Slithering no more. <clears throat> it broke off, he was crying, sounding very alarmed. I stared through the light at the chain, feeling myself hovering beside Zack, floating, fading. <laughs> Somewhere far in the distance, April was screaming. I couldn't make out her words. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Lefty stood frozen in the center of the room, a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. It seemed strange to him standing so still. He was always moving, always bouncing, running, failing, well, falling. Failing? I like failing. Running, better. failing. Poor sweet Lefty. I but now he, too, into the wall. stood staring at the chain. The light shimmered brighter. I saw sudden movement. <gasps> Someone was crossing the room. I struggled to focus. It was Erin. She was dragging a large cardboard box. Oh, so now you can oh. call it a cardboard box. Oh, you can box. say box now suddenly? Across the floor. Fucking Christ. <clears throat> Feeling myself being pulled away, I struggled to watch her. 
She pulled the box next to the mirror. Then she climbed up onto it. So what's the difference between a box and a carton? Well, so if she can climb onto a box... Who (laughs) knows? What did you say? I said, who knows? (laughs) I saw her reaching... We've been asking this question for years. (laughs) Yeah, god damn. (laughs) Literally years. Only R.L. Stein knows. (laughs) I saw her reaching up to the lamp. I saw her reaching into the light. I wanted to ask her what she was doing, but I was too far away. I was floating off. I felt so light, so feather light. As I floated, the yellow light spread over me like a blanket. (laughs) It, it, It covered me, pulled me. And then with startling suddenness, it was gone, and all was darkness. I did it. Aaron proclaimed. <laughs> I heard her explaining to the others. There was a little bit of chain left up there. I pulled, bit of chain. I pulled it, Doctor, and turned <laughs> off the light. Her eyes darted frantically around the room, searching for me. <laughs> Max, are you okay? Can you hear me? That movie's a, an amazing movie. Yeah, I'm okay, I replied. (laughs) I felt better, stronger, closer. Faster. Harder. Harder. I stepped up to the mirror and I searched for my reflection. That was scary, Lefty said behind me. I can feel myself coming back, I told them. What was his time? Zach asked April. April's features were tight with worry. I don't fucking care, she said. (laughs) Sitting against the wall, she looked pale. I relate to April. <laughs> Sitting against the wall, she looked pale and uncomfortable. Yep, that's me. <laughs> You'd be like, fuck you, I'm going to be invisible longer than all your asses. <laughs> that's that's true. true, no. Yeah. Fuck, God damn it. You'd be like, I'll die before I let you win. <laughs> fuck, you got me. <laughs> we got your number. 548, she told Zach. That's your and number. And then quickly added... I really think this stupid competition is a big mistake. See, that sounds like me, too. You you, you flip back and forth between both. You're competitive, and and then you're like, wait, maybe this is a bad idea. And then I'm like... You got two speeds. I'm like, I'm going to win, and this is dumb. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. That'll be on your tombstone. (laughs) Yeah. Which one won out? That's so accurate. I'm a Virgo, but I, like Aries, Aries yeah. rising. I didn't that mean is to do like a Wario me. voice, but I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna win. win. I'm not gonna win. That's all right. I'm Italian. It's fair. It still works. Jesus Christ. You beat my record, Zach groaned, turning to where he figured I was standing. I don't believe it. Almost six minutes. I'm going for longer than that, Lefty said, pushing past Zach and ste- stepping up to the mirror. We have to fix the chain first, Aaron told him. It's too hard to keep climbing up on a box or carton to pull that little piece of chain. I'm Wait, just mad that... No, why is that box? box? I'm, I'm mad that it's box and not carton. I'm very this mad. This is fucking Five fucking books of cartons. So, uh, she has to be lighter than a fucking feather if she stood on a cardboard box. Right? <laughs> like... Was the box full of magazines? And she's the one who's worried about her weight. But then if it's full of magazines, how the fuck did she lift that thing? Like, right? Oh, yeah. God. Aaron, what are your secrets? RL, give us the answers. What are your secrets? RL. I felt pretty strange at the end, I told them, still waiting to reappear. The light grew brighter and brighter. Did you feel like you were being pulled away? Aaron asked. Yeah, I replied, like I was fading or something. That's how I started to feel, Aaron cried. This is just so dangerous, April (gasps) said, shaking her head. I popped back. My knees buckled and I almost fell to the floor, but I grabbed the mirror and held myself up. After a few seconds, my legs felt strong again. I took a few steps and regained my balance. What if we couldn't turn off the light? April demanded, climbing to her feet. Oh my god. Oh boy. Calm down. Smashing everything and... (laughs) I'm not gonna win. (laughs) Crushing the dust off the back of her jeans with both hands. What if the chain completely broke and the light stayed on? What then? (gasps) Go home, Aaron, <laughs> April, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Aaron and God. April. You don't need these dumb boys. Yeah. What then? I shrugged. I don't know. You broke my record. 
Zack said, making a disgusted face. I'll tell my that, daddy about this. <laughs> that means I have to have another turn. Oh, God. No way. Just to whip them shouted. out and measure. <laughs> it's my turn next. <laughs> None of, none of you are listening to me, April cried. Hello. Hi. Answer my question. What if one of you is invisible and the light won't go out? That won't happen, Zach told her. He pulled a string from his pocket. Why? What? Why do you have it just a string, string in his pocket? Here, I'm a going to tie this at the end of it. Strings. Here, I'm going to tie this tightly to the chain. He climbed up onto the box and began to work. Pull the string, the light, go- the light goes out, he told April. No problem. Which one of us is going to be the first to get invisible and then go outside? She's really obsessed with that, Aaron asked. Yeah, she wants to murder. Aaron wants to go steal some shit. She really does. I want to go to school and terrorize Miss Hawkins, Lefty said, snickering. No, no one else. Miss Hawkins is his social studies teacher. She's been terrorizing me ever since school started. Wouldn't it be cool just to sneak up behind her and say, Hi, Miss Hawkins. Oh my god, they are going to kill her. I know. (laughs) And she'd turn around and there'd be no one there. That's the best you could do? Aaron scoffed. I would murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty, where's your imagination? Don't you want to go make the chalk fly out of her hand and the chalkboard erasers fly across the room and the wastebasket spill everything out on her desk and her yogurt fly into her face? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, what are we at? <clears throat> Aaron's got one move, Here. and it's... Tossing shit around the room. Press, uh, press stop on that. What? You got finish? one page left. Just okay, finish page. that page. All right, all right. <clears throat> shut the fuck up, Dave. Yeah, shut. Just, hey, Dave, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's way cool, Lefty exclaimed. I laughed. <laughs> it was a funny idea. The four of us could go around completely invisible doing whatever we wanted <laughs> until we died in five minutes. We Wait, could, did he say that? No. Oh. We could wreck the whole school in ten minutes. How close did they live to the school? Yeah, well, like, what? Everyone would be screaming and running out the doors. What a goof! We can't do it now. This is a terrible plan, even Lefty for said, children. interrupting my thoughts, because it's my turn to beat the record. He turned back to April, who was <laughs> standing... to an old radio broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to do the voice. He turned back to April, who was standing tensely by the door, really wanting to leave, pulling at a strand of her black hair, a worried frown on her face. Ready to tie me? <sighs> I guess. <laughs> she said, sighing. That was jarring. Lefty pushed me out of the way. What did you do? He stepped in front of the mirror, stared at his reflection, and reached for the string! Chapter 14. Lefty, a voice shouted from behind us. Lefty! Startled by the interruption, I uttered an alarmed cry. Lefty stepped back from the mirror. (coughs) Lefty, tell your brother his friends have to leave. It's dinner time. Grammy and Poppy are here. (gasps) They're eager to see you. Wait, is Lefty Uh, invisible? Or did he not? I don't remember what happened at all. Okay. I think Lefty turned invisible. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's what I call my grandparents, Grammy and Poppy. Oh, It was Mom, calling from downstairs. Okay, Mom, we'll be right down, I shouted quickly. I didn't want her to come up. But that's not fair, Lefty whined. I didn't get my turn. He stepped back up to the mirror and angrily grabbed for the string again. Put it down, I told him sternly. We have to go downstairs quick. We don't want Mom or Dad coming up here and seeing the mirror, do we? Okay, okay, Lefty grumbled. That they don't know is in the attic? next time I get to go first. Right, like, who bought the fucking mirror, if not your parents? If there was a magic mirror in this attic, I would know within, like, minutes of buying this house. Yeah. I'd be like, Becca, there's a magic mirror up here. (laughs) I pulled the chain and I went invisible. And I'd be like, let's do it a thousand more times. I'm right next to you, but I'm still this loud. (laughs) (laughs) And then me, Zach said, heading toward the stairs, I get a chance to beat your record, Max. I hate Zach. Zach is a dick. Me too. Zach is a Zach dick. Zach just wants everyone straight to up die. Dick. Everybody, stop talking about it. I warned as we all clamped down the stairs. Clomped. <laughs> Clomped. Talk Cl- about something else. We don't want them to overhear anything. Can we come over tomorrow? Aaron asked. We could start up the contest again. I'm busy tomorrow. April said. We can't do it tomorrow. I replied. We're visiting my cousins in Springfield. 
I was sorry they'd, re- they'd reminded me. <laughs> My cousins have this humongous sheepdog that likes to run through the mud and then jump on me and wipe its hairy paws all over my clothes. Oh, Gross. Not, God, I hate this. Not my idea of a good time. Me Wait, either, what Zach. what happened to their dog? Oh, wait, around. He hasn't been around since like Maybe the first Maybe he turned chapter. invisible and they just haven't. <laughs> and they just forgot about him? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he just died. <laughs> There's no school on Wednesday, Zach said. Why? Teachers meetings, I think. What? Maybe we could all come over on Wednesday. That never happened. Maybe, I said. No, uh, like uh, development day. You never had uh, private yeah. school. Yeah, you were in yeah. private school. <laughs> Fucking private this school. is a thing. Yeah. Professional development day. Just you got be, off it would on just a be Wednesday. Like a, uh, it would never be a Wednesday. Like, what? Like fuck a all of you. Monday. Yeah, a random day of the week. God damn. You, you would get off if a bishop died. So fuck you. Because <laughs> while I was in Catholic yeah, school, a bishop died, and we got off school. <laughs> I thought it was pretty great. Uh, okay, probably. <laughs> we stepped into the hallway. <laughs> Everyone I love stopped when talking. Died. <laughs> I could see that my grandparents and parents. <laughs> They were probably kid touchers anyway. Uh, I could see that my grandparents and parents were already sitting at the dining room table. Grammy and Poppy liked to eat promptly. And God help you if you were late. For dinner. <laughs> if their dinner came one minute late, it made them real cranky for the rest of the day. I ushered my friends hey. out quickly, reminding them not to tell anyone about what we'd been doing. Zach asked again if Wednesday would be okay, and again I told him I wasn't sure. <laughs> Getting invisible was really exciting. Really thrilling. Getting invisible. But it also made me nervous, as I've stated clearly several times throughout this book. Fuck. Almost on every single page. I wasn't sure I wanted to do it again so soon. Oh, Jesus. Please? Zach begged. He couldn't wait to get invisible again and beat my record. He couldn't stand it that he wasn't the champ and that he didn't own everything because daddy couldn't buy invisibility for him. His dad's a judge. I closed the front door behind them and hurried to the dining room to greet my grandparents. They were already slurping their soup when I came in. That's weird. Ew. Classic grandparent move, eating soup. Hi, Grammy. Hi, Poppy. I walked behind the table and gave them each a kiss on the cheek. Ew. What? Right? You like, didn't why, kiss why, your grandparents? Like, why wouldn't you do it on the lips? <laughs> <laughs> Grand Grammy smelled of oranges. What? Her, my grandma smelled like cigarettes. Her cheek so felt her cheek felt soft and mushy. It gave me an erection. Grammy and Poppy are the names I gave them when I was a kid. I'm very inventive. No one's ever done that before. It's really embarrassing. How much of this are you reading? I, I mean, did he gonna... say they're the names he gave them as a kid? Yeah, that's in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was never like, I named you Poppy. Your name is Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> I was never that original. It was always Grandma and Grandpa. <clears throat> I just, I don't know where their names came from. Yeah, definitely not from you. I don't think I invented them. <laughs> you invented them. They were never real. Yeah. <laughs> you had no grandparents. It's really oh. embarrassing to call them that now, but I still do. I don't have much no, choice. No, it's not. Cherish them. You're fucking 12. Cherish them. They even call each other Grammy and Poppy. Uh, no, uh, they fucking don't. They're probably just like, huh? Ward? <laughs> they look alike, almost like brother and sister. Ew, uh, what? Uh, uh oh! I, I hate couples like that. I you guess. Ever, don't, don't you hate couples that look like they're related? I don't think I yeah. know. Yeah, there's like a lot of them. It's creepy. I guess that's what happens when you've been married a hundred years. This kid's an asshole. They yes. both have long, thin faces and short, white hair. They both wear thick glasses with silver wire frames. Are these characters even important? They're both really skinny. Will they ever even show and up they, again? Like, and, did oh, they invent the mirror? Guys, they both have yeah, sad yeah. eyes and sad expressions. Probably because they miss getting invisible. Probably be- <laughs> <laughs> Probably because they saw so much horrors during the Depression. Or the war. Yeah. I didn't feel she like she was a nurse. He was a soldier. Tale as old as time. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I didn't feel like sitting at their dinner and making small talk with them today. Fuck I hate, God. I hate this kid. This right now. whole chapter is like fuck my grandparents. She I was only still. Knew. I was still really pumped about what we'd been doing oh, all afternoon. I miss my grandparents. Really pumped. He was nervous the whole fucking time. Yeah, pick yeah. a goddamn lanes, Max. <laughs> Being. Like a goddamn lady. 
<laughs> Being invisible was just so weird and exciting. Like masturbating for the first time. I wanted to let myself I wanted to I wanted to be myself and think about it. And explore my body. You know? Try to relive it. Relive what it felt like. Mostly real. A lot of times after I've done something really exciting or interesting, <laughs> which Jonathan is a lot a as a 12-year-old. Yeah, every day. I like to go up to my room, lie down on my bed, and just think about it. Miss, analyze it. <laughs> tear it apart. What? You know, all the exciting things you did as a preteen. Yeah, mostly masturbating. Just lay down and think about it. Dad you, says you I have a very report. scientific mind. I guess he's right. I walked over to my place at the table. You're looking much shorter, Poppy said, becoming the hero of the story in my mind, <laughs> wiping his mouth on his cloth napkin. That was one of his standard jokes. He said it every time he saw me. I forced a laugh and sat down. Your soup must be ice cold by now, Grammy said, clicking her tongue. Nothing I hate more than cold soup. I mean, what's the point of having soup if it isn't steaming hot? Oh, this is gazpacho. Yeah. It tastes okay, I said, taking a spoonful. We Stupid had some outfit. delicious cold soup last summer, Poppy said. He loved to contradict Grammy and start arguments with her. Oh, boy, they hated each other. Ooh, that actually does sound a bit like my grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> they argued a lot. <laughs> Strawberry soup. Remember? <laughs> Horrible. You wouldn't want ice cold that strawberry hot, soup. would you? Isn't that just melted ice what cream? What the fuck is this entire fucking chapter? Not what getting is this invisible. Fucking book. It wasn't strawberry. Grammy it's told him, frowning. It wasn't even soup. It was some kind of fancy yogurt. No, it wasn't. Poppy insisted. It was definitely cold soup. You're wrong as usual. Grammy snapped. Jesus fucking Christ. Clearly, R.L. Stein witnessed an argument between his grandparents when he was a kid. He's it's, never gotten it's over. It's scarred him for life. His grandparents were like strawberry soup. You're a bitch. <laughs> Strawberry soup, but it was you play. <laughs> <laughs> this could get ugly, I thought. What yeah. kind of soup is this? I asked, trying to stop their arguing. What, what is that's happening? That's, that's not stopping the arguing. Cold that's strawberry that's, soup. That's, I feel that's like throwing uh, uh, gasoline on the fire. I feel like I personally <laughs> am going insane. Chicken noodle, mom answered quickly. <laughs> Didn't you recognize it? <laughs> Poppy and I had soup a few weeks ago that we couldn't recognize, my grandmother said, shaking her head. I had to ask the waiter what it was. It didn't look like what we'd ordered at all. Some kind of potato leek soup, Ew. wasn't it, Poppy? Oh, that's good. Poppy took a long time swallowing some noodles. You know the voice you need to do. <clears throat> no tomato, he answered. Where's your brother? Dad asked, staring at the empty chair next to me. Huh? He's invisible. I reacted with surprise. I had been so busy though. listening to my grandparents' silly soup arguments, I had forgotten all about Lefty. <laughs> His soup is getting cold, Poppy said. <laughs> You'll have to heat it up for him, Grammy said. Why are they having chicken again. noodle soup for dinner? Is this entire chapter about <laughs> soup? Yes. Jesus Christ. So where is he? Dad asked. I shrugged. He was right behind me, I said. I turned toward the left din uh, I turned toward the dining room doorway and shouted, Lefty! Lefty! That's, that's how it's written. Okay. <laughs> Don't shout at the table, Mom scolded. Get up and go find him. Is there any more soup? Poppy asked. I didn't really get enough. <laughs> oh, my God. I put my napkin down and started to get up, but before I was out of my chair, I saw Lefty's soup bowl start to rise up into the air. Oh, shit. Oh, Lefty. What a scam. Oh, no, I thought. I knew instantly what was happening. My fucking idiot brother had made himself invisible. <laughs> and now he thought he was being funny, trying to scare the daylights out of everyone at the table. The soup bowl floated up over Lefty's place. I stood up and lunged for it and pulled it down as fast as I could. Good out! I whispered loudly to Lefty. Good out? How does. How does Get out. Good out! He's been waiting for him. I'm waiting for, for him. Long time. What did you say? <laughs> My mom asked. Racket everywhere. Gaping at me. I, uh, I said I'm getting out and go, I'm going to find Lefty. I told her, thinking quickly. Oh, Good out! Kid. No! I whispered to Lefty, Stop talking about finding him. Just go do it. 
my mom said impatiently. I stood up just as my dumb fucking invisible brother raised his water glass. The glass floated up over the table. I gasped and grabbed for it. But I grabbed too hard, just like the time I tried to masturbate last night. I jerked the glass, just like I did to my dick last night. And water spilled all over the table, just like what happened when I masturbated <laughs> last night. I only masturbated over tables. Hey! Mom screamed. <laughs> I pulled the glass Mom's down to its... Mom's child. Yeah, 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 exactly. I pulled the glass down to its place. Then I looked up. Dad was glaring at me, his eyes burning angrily into mine. He knows, I thought, a heavy feeling of dread sweeping over me. Have those he... boys been at my mirror? <laughs> boys, have you been getting invisible? <laughs> he saw what just happened, and he knows. Lefty had spoiled it for everyone. <clears throat> Chapter 15. Dad glared angrily across the table at me. I waited for him to say, Max, why is your brother invisible? But instead he yelled, Stop fooling around, Max. We don't appreciate your comedy act. Just get up and find your brother. I was so relieved. Dad hadn't realized what was really happening after all. He thought I was just goofing, being an asshole. <laughs> is there seconds on the soup? I heard Poppy ask again oh as God. I gracefully pushed away oh from my the table God. and Poppy's hurried great. out of the dining yeah. room. I want just fucking chicken noodle soup for dinner? Right. That's not... That's bullshit. That's not hearty. Invite me over for dinner and give me soup. Be like, what am I, a grandparent? <laughs> like, are you a sick child with the cold? Yeah. I mean, chicken and dumplings at least. Yeah. I love chicken and dumplings. I lost my place. You've had enough, Grammy Skulls. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Apparently there was liquor in this. Soup. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. I made my way quickly through the living room. Taking long strides, climbed to the second floor and stopped in the hallway at the door to the attic stairs. Lefty, I whispered, I hope you followed me. I'm here, Lefty whispered back. I couldn't see him, of course, but he was right beside me. <clears throat> What's the big idea, I demanded angrily. I wasn't angry. I was furious. Are you trying to win the stupid Furiously. championship? Yeah. Lefty didn't care that I was upset. He started to giggle. Me. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, I whispered. Just shut up. You really are a dork. I clicked on the attic light and clomped angrily up the stairs. Clomp, clomp, clomp. I could hear his sneakers clomping up behind me. Clomp, clomp, clomp. 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 He was still giggling at the top of the stairs. <laughs> me. I win, he declared. I felt a hand slap me hard on the back. Stop it, jerk, I screamed, storming into the little room that ho housed the mirror. I was about to say hosed. Hosed. Don't you realize you nearly spoiled it for everybody? But I win, he, re he repeated gleefully. The lamp over the mirror was shining brightly, the reflection glaring sun yellow in the mirror. I couldn't really believe Lefty. He was usually a pretty selfish kid, but not this selfish. Don't you realize the trouble you could have gotten us into, I cried. I win. I win. Why? How long have you been, been invisible, I asked. I stepped up to the mirror and pulled the string. The light went out. The glare remained in my eyes. Ever since you guys went downstairs, Lefty said, still invisible, and bragged. Bragged. That's almost ten minutes, I exclaimed. I'm the champ. Lefty proclaimed. I stared into the mirror, waiting for him to reappear. The stupidity champ! I repeated. Jesus. Oh boy. Watch yourself. The stupidity champ, I said as I almost knocked my beer over in real life. This was the dumbest thing you've ever done! He didn't say anything. Finally, he asked in a quiet voice, Why is it taking me so long for me to come back? Before I could answer, I heard Dad calling from downstairs. Max? Are you two up there? Yeah, we'll be right down, I shouted. What are you two doing up there? Dad demanded. I heard him start to climb the stairs. I ran to the top of the stairs to head him off. Sorry, Dad, I said. We're coming. Dad stared up at me in the stairwell. What on earth is so interesting up there? Just a lot of old stuff, I muttered. Nothing really. Lefty appeared behind me, looking like his old self. Dad disappeared back to the dining room. Lefty and I stared down the stairs. Wow, that was awesome! Lefty exclaimed. 
Didn't you start to feel weird after a while? I asked him, whispering, even though <laughs> we were alone. <laughs> no, he shook his head. I felt fine. It was really awesome. You should have seen the look on your face when I made the soup bowl float up in the air. <laughs> I love that your voice is that different. I know. He started giggling again. That high-pitched giggle of his that I hate. <laughs> Listen, Lefty, I warn, stopping at the bottom of the stairs, blocking his way to the hallway. Getting invisible is fun, but it could be dangerous. You, it's awesome, he repeated, and I'm the new champ. (gasps) Listen to me, I said heatedly, grabbing him by the shoulders. Just listen. You've got to promise me that you won't go up there and get invisible by yourself again. I mean it. You've got to wait till someone else is around. Promise. I squeezed his shoulders hard. Okay, okay, he said, trying to squirm away. I promise. I looked down. He had his fingers crossed on both hands. Oh! Put him behind your back, Lefty. Yeah, Jesus. You Don't idiot. you know how to lie about a promise? Aaron Classic called lefty. me. Right? You know how to lie about a promise. Aaron called me later that night. It was about 11. I was in my pajamas. Oh my God. I would have gotten in so much trouble if I was like 12 and a friend called me at 11. I would oh have gotten God. fucking murdered. Absolutely. Uh, I was in my pajamas reading a book in bed thinking about going downstairs and baking my parents to stay up and let me watch Saturday Night Live. Uh, I really loved that <laughs> Dana Carvey. Erin <laughs> <laughs> <Aaron, laughs> sounded really excited. She didn't even say hello. Just started talking a mile a minute in that squeaky mouse voice so fast I had trouble understanding her. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I had trouble understanding her. <clears throat> What about the science fair? I asked, holding the phone away from my ear, hoping that would help me understand her better. The wedding project, Aaron said breathlessly. The prize is a silver trophy and a gift certificate at Video World. Remember? Video World. Yeah, so. I still, Canadian blockbuster. Yeah. I still wasn't following her. I think I was sleepier than I thought. It had been a nervous, tiring day after all. You got well, invisible like 20 times. I know. Well, what if you brought the mirror to school? Aaron asked excitedly. You know, I would make you go invisible, then I'd bring you back, and I'd get invisible because I love it so much. <laughs> that could be our project. She's got a fucking problem. Yeah, she yeah, really. I could really give it to that teacher. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <clears throat> but, Aaron, I started to protest. We'd win. Give this to She me. interrupted. We'd have to win. I mean,. What else could beat it? We'd win first prize, and we'd be famous. Whoa, I cried. I didn't see famous? Coming. Of course. Famous. Our picture would be in People magazine and everything, remember? I held up a magazine earlier. <laughs> I added that part. <clears throat> it was true, Because you have it's to clear. Yeah, it's true. No, it's true. <laughs> Aaron, I'm not so sure about this, I said softly, thinking hard. Huh? Not so sure about what? <laughs> <laughs> Not so sure I want to be famous, I replied. I mean, I really don't know if I want the whole world to know about the mirror. Also, my hair really hasn't reached its peak yet. Why not? Wait, she really? demanded impatiently. Oh. <laughs> and really everyone do. wants to be famous and rich. You want to be famous, don't you? But don't take away the mirror, I explained. It's amazing, it's an amazing thing. Oh, wait, no, it's still me. It's an amazing thing, Aaron. <laughs> I mean, Turning invisible is what turned her. Yeah. It's an amazing thing, Aaron. I mean, it, is it magic? Is it electronic? Is it someone's invention? Whatever it is, it's unbelievable. And they're not going to let a kid keep it. But it's yours, she insisted. So take it away and study it like an alien. Scientists want it. Government guys will want it. You have army power. guys. I'm attracted to power. <laughs> They'll probably want to use it to make the army invisible or something. Get that sedan. <laughs> scary. Aaron mumbled thoughtfully. Yeah, scary, I said. So I don't know. I've got to think about this a lot. I mean, In the meantime. the whole army into their attic. It's got to be a secret. Yeah, they've only been invisible one at a time so far. Yeah, I guess. She said doubtfully. But think about the science fair, Max. We could win the prize. We could. 
This we, bitch is a Virgo. We really, <laughs> we really could. I'll think about it. I told her. I hadn't. I haven't thought about anything else. I realized. <laughs> Nothing. Duh. Literally. April wants to try it. It's only been like she said, three hours. Huh? I convinced her. I told her it didn't hurt or anything. She wants to try it on Wednesday. It seems like we're talking about sex for the first time. But <laughs> I told her it's like riding a horse but for I'm the first time. This one really does about, feel like an allegory. About getting it visible. We are going to do it on My Wednesday. My next pickup line is, hey, Aren't babe, we let's Max? get invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you turn off the lights, let's get invisible, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Click. I guess... I guess, I replied reluctantly, since everyone wants to. Great! She exclaimed. I think I'll beat your record! Alright, yeah, no, that's, that's this the not turn. Over yet? That's, that's the turn of her voice. It's just gonna get more just sinister. Like, ah! like that? <laughs> like a crow? The new record is ten minutes, I informed her. I explained about Lefty and his dinner time adventure. Fucking Lefty. Your brother is really a nut, Aaron remarked. I agreed with her, then a said goodnight. Nut. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I couldn't oh, get to boy. sleep that night. I tried sleeping on one side, then the other. I tried counting sheep. Everything. I knew I was sleeping. I tried getting invisible. But my heart was racing. <laughs> I just couldn't get comfortable. I stared up at the ceiling, thinking about the mirror in the little room above me. It was nearly three in the morning when I crept barefoot out of my room, wide awake, and headed up to the attic. As before, I leaned heavily on the banister as I climbed. Why? Just walk up the stairs like a person, trying to keep the wooden stairs from their usual symphony of creaks and groans. Walk on the outside. You know, how kids talk. Mm -hmm. In my hurry to get to the little room, I stubbed my toe in the corner of a wooden crate. What? It's just the little room. It's funny. So wait, now that's a crate? It's a crate, not a carton or a box? Well, yeah, there's a crate. I stubbed my toe in the corner of a wooden crate. Cool. Who just has Ow! I screamed as quietly as possible. <laughs> You're like creeping up the stairs and you go, funk. Ow! Ow! <laughs> quietly. A quiet scream. A quiet scream. I wanted to hop up and down, but I forced myself to stand still and waited for the pain to fade. Any kid that stubs their toe goes, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I could walk again, I made my way into the little room. I pulled a carton in ah! front of the mirror. Drink! And sat down on it. My drink's gone. My toe still throbbed, but I tried to ignore it. So did my penis. I stared at my dark reflection in the mirror, studying my hair first, of course. Oh, That's exactly what it said. I know. It was totally messed up, but I really didn't care. Clearly he did or he wouldn't have mentioned it. Yeah. R.L. Stein, like, what's, what's your issue? <laughs> Multiple. So many Page 89. <laughs> Page 89. <laughs> <laughs> then I peered beyond my reflection, behind it. I guess I was trying to look deep into the glass. I don't really know what I was doing or why I was up there. To me, well, I mean, obviously to, like, to get invisible. To get invisible, yeah. <laughs> I was so tired and pumped up at the same time. Blood coursing into my Johnson. So curious <laughs> and confused, <laughs> sleepy and nervous. I ran a hand along the glass, surprised again at how cool it felt in the hot, nearly airless little room. I pushed my open hand against the glass, then pulled it away. Oh. It left no handprint. <gasps> I moved my hand to the wooden frame, once again rubbing the smooth wood. <laughs> really? I stood up and slowly walked around to the back of the mirror. It was too dark back there here to really... Uh, back, back there? Back here <laughs> to really examine back it carefully. There, here. But there wasn't anything to examine. The back of the frame was smooth, plain, and un- un- uninteresting. Almost like this paragraph was unimportant. Oh, my God. <laughs> I came back around to the front. But I and want to gazed... hear more about him caressing the mirror. <laughs> yeah, that would. <laughs> I continued to caress the mirror, <laughs> realizing Thank that God. it was oddly in the shape of a woman, <laughs> and therefore discovering myself for the first time. <laughs> Almost as good as it felt the first time I went invisible. I was starting to feel a tingling in my pants. And then I realized, like, wait, there's things I could do with this other than pee? But I digress. I came back around to the front and gazed up at the light. It looked like an ordinary lamp. Nothing at all special about it. Except for the fact that it turned you invisible, you (laughs) fucking... 
You fuck! The bulb was an odd shape, long and very thin, like my dick. (laughs) But it looked like an ordinary light bulb, like my dick. (laughs) Sitting back down on the carton, I rested my head in my hands and stared drowsily into the mirror. I yawned silently. I knew I should go back downstairs and go to sleep. Mom and Dad were going to wake us up early the next morning to drive to Springfield. But something was holding me there. What was in Springfield? I don't know. My curiosity, I guess. I don't know how long I sat there still as a statue watching my own unmoving reflection. It may have been just a minute or two, or it might have been half an hour. I was pretty high. I'm 12. I don't know how time works. (laughs) But after a while, I stared into the mirror, the reflection seeming to lose its sharpness. Now I found found myself staring at vague shapes, blurred colors, deepening the shadows. It feels right reading it that way, doesn't it? (laughs) Yeah. And then I heard the soft whisper. Max. Like the wind through the trees. Is it the dog? The hushed (laughs) <laughs> shaking of leaves not a voice at all not even a whisper just the hint of a whisper Max. at first i thought it was inside my own head so faint so soft but so near i held my breath <gasps> listened hard <laughs> hard silence now so it was inside my head i told myself i was imagining it I took a deep breath and let it out slowly. (laughs) (laughs) Try to do it back. Come on. I'm trying to do it. You need to do it. Uh, this time. Uh, I think it's pronounced whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Louder this time. Um, sad somehow. Almost a plea. Yeah. A call <laughs> A call for help. Oh, God, I'm crying. Oh my God, it's like far, a half a page. Far, can't far, far, far away. Wait. Max. Who the oh, fuck God. is it? I don't know. I raised my hands to my ears. Was I trying to shut it out to see if I could make it go away? That is fucking left. <laughs> yeah, inside the mirror. Fucker probably turned invisible right before bed. The dark reflected shapes shifted slowly. Oh my god. <clears throat> Take us home. I stared back at myself, my expression tense, frightened. I realized I was chilled from head to foot. My whole body shivered from the cold. Max! The whisper. Head to foot. Head to foot. Head to foot. foot. Not my toes, but my foot. The whisper I realized was coming from the mirror. (gasps) Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh no. From my own reflection? From somewhere behind my reflection? (gasps) I leapt to my feet, turned away, and ran. My bare feet slapped against the hardwood floor. I plunged down the stairs, flew across the hall, and dived into my bed. I shut my eyes tight and prayed the frightening whisper wouldn't follow me. Ba 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 ba. Below grade level is a Cactus Radio production. You can contact us at podcast at cactusrodeo.com. Subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, and follow Cactus Rodeo on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more entertainment and updates.